I'm talking to Alex. Alex. I'm wondering, why do I nag so much about square roots? Because they're uh, an How do you put in the words? <laughs> it's handy to approximately know them if we're drawing arguing diagrams, we're doing quadratic formulas, we're drawing graphs. It's nice if you're a rough idea. So, how many can Jake tell me? So if I said, of course you're going to have 36, which is 6 squared, 49. Jake, keep going for me. Oh. 6 squared, 7 squared. Uh, 64. 8 squared, 9 squared. 81. 10 squared. 100. 11 squared. 1, 2, 1. 12 squared. Uh, 144. 13 squared. 169. 196. 14 squared. 196. Should I actually write it down? Make it more obvious. 196. Two, two, Only that's 169 and that's 196. It's one of those things in life. 15 squared. 225. You're going to completely take over. 256. Is good. 289. 17 squared. 28. That's the one I often forget for some reason. I don't know why. That's, uh, I remember the 77s are 49, so it's got to end in the 9. Yeah. That's it. 80 squared is? It's got to end in the 40s. Yes. There's 8 8s are 64. Is it 324? Ready, set, how many seconds? 10 each question. 10 by 9, 90 seconds. Can you got the timer for 90 seconds? Ready, set, go. About 60 seconds. Just finished. I'll just think about it even a bit more. One more time. Race is still going. So the 10 seconds each is just an indication to go, how did you go for 10 seconds each? Jake's thinking hard. So did you just random guess or did you think about it? Uh, a little bit. A little bit like where it is relative to the other one. What number one are you going? Is it closer to eight? Is it closer to nine? Number two, what are the numbers? Is it close to seven? Is it closer to eight? Is it close to two? Seven sevens are 49, eight eights are 64. Nearly finished, Grace? So it's bigger than nine, small than 10. Bigger than nine, small than 10. Bigger than? 10 and 11. Smaller than 11. Bigger than 12, small than 13. Bigger than? 14. 14, small than 15. Bigger than? 16. Smaller than 17. Damn it. So you see you head too quick now anyway. You ready? Three decimal plays. Number one. My three decimal plays. Three decimal plays. I'll give it the three decimal plays so you can know if you're accurate to one. And you know, sometimes if I give it to you in three, you can see how close you were. So that it might have been almost halfway. What's so, the last one? So when I was putting up two decimal places, it wasn't good enough. I've got to put up three. So what are you just finishing it off? Number one. 3 to 71 is 8.426. So who had 8.4? Yeah, I've got 4.5. 4, 4, wonderful. So there's times when you might just do it and say that's right, so that counts. Next one, number two is 52. Uh, 
Two, two one, one. Just do it. Seven point two. That's impressive. Anyone else? They just went seven or eight. Good. You get better. Uh, that one. Sixty is sixty. Sixty is seven point seven four four six. Oh, seven point seven five. Oh, really? No, that is. Did you use your method of calculating? Well, oh, you just need to count no, no. yes. You just process it. That'd take too long. Yeah, that'd take way, way too long. I want seven point eight. Yeah, I would count seven point eight because it's so close to halfway between the two. Seven point eight. Well, yeah. if you, if you, yes. Yeah. So in other words, if it, if I got three decimal places, you have got a pretty good idea. I mean, you know, I guess that you're out by point oh oh four. If you rounded it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, except rounding doesn't work like that, but you can yes, sometimes. Yes, but if you did. Yeah. Okay, 85. So what was the uh, 9.220. 9.2. Yeah, 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2. 9.2.